a normal lead, let's call it between five to eight dollars, a click to call lead right now, double that, not bad, right? So um, what's better is the problem with LSA calls, the problem with click to call all calls is there's a lot of junk in there, right? Welcome, y'all. Uh, we got a few folks on, and as you uh, start to see this conversation kind of organically grow, feel free to share this. Jump in with questions. I'm Jeff Fargo. I am a senior BDO, business development officer, which means absolutely nothing, but looks good on a business card when you're hitting on a woman at a bar. And I am a basically a title rep with Las Vegas. Hi, Daniel. And I am a, a big digital strategy guy. I've been doing stuff in the digital space since America Online, which a lot of you don't even know what that is. Uh, that's AOL. And uh, into MySpace. And I've been data mining since before people knew who Edward Snowden even was. So that's my jam. And I am extremely happy to be with these fine gentlemen from YLOPO. And I'm not even going to get into, because people think YLOPO is a CRM and a lot of a, a lot of different stuff. So if you all just want to briefly just introduce yourself, and Gabe, we'll start with you. Just introduce yourself, who you are, and then when we're done with that, who would like to, whoever wants you to jump in, like just an overview of why Lopo, and then we'll jump into it. And again, and anybody who, if you have questions, jump into the chat, and we will, I will get you top of the board to get your answer on your question done as effectively and accurately as possible. Gabe, go right ahead, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, so Gabe Cordova, I'm in uh, Denver uh, and Boise. Actually, we have a team in both markets. Uh, been an agent team lead for almost 20 years now. Uh, and uh, really, you know, one of the co-founders and uh, and president of Firepoint is really where I spent most of my time, probably the last four slash five years. Um, you know, you mentioned CRMs, building a CRM, working in tech, building tools for agents. Uh, which is how I got to meet uh, G and Howard and 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 Barry a little bit closer. But uh, you know, been running teams for for quite a while. We did over 800 uh, sales in one year. My last year running that before stepping into Firepoint, uh, mostly online leads. Um, that year, I believe it was right around 600 of the 814 were PPC online leads. So something I've been doing for a very long time, speaking about uh, something I'm very comfortable with, uh, and now currently. Uh, running the Denver team as well. We're building it uh, really with all in with YLOPO. Uh, and YLOPO was uh, uh, crazy enough to ask me to come on as a realtor in residence earlier this year. And it's been incredible getting to see behind the scenes of how <clears throat> innovative and fast paced and uh, crazy in a good way uh, this team is over here at YLOPO. I mean, you know, I know they're going to talk about some stuff today that they're rolling out to get to see stuff that they even haven't rolled out. It's It's been nuts and as a tech guy online lead guy uh feeding teams uh and helping get people more efficient higher roi it, it's been incredible and i i can't wait to see the reaction and uh, what people start saying about what g is going to be talking about so glad to be here okay. awesome barry uh, you want to go first uh, yeah so uh bought ylopo in 2016 we sold a lot of homes really quickly I run a team in Virginia Beach. We've got about 65 agents. We sell around 800, 900 houses a year. And I became a full-time, I transitioned from part-time to full-time, I don't know, 2018 with YLOPO. Yeah, three, three, four. And uh, yes, and my book comes out this month. Um, uh, and so big idea, the reason why you want to be on this webinar, the reason why you want to be listening is YLOPO has a habit of being two to three years ahead of the competition. And uh, we actually innovate. Uh, and I don't use that word lightly. We actually make things and do things that currently no one else is doing. And that's what marketing and cutting edge marketing is all about. And, uh, you know, first quarter next year, you guys are going to see we've done it again. There is something that we're going to be sharing with you guys. I'm stealing your thunder, G, but whatever, uh, that you guys are. <laughs> Uh, have uh, I've never seen the results that G is going to be going over. And there's a very specific reason why that all interrupts along the way. Um, and uh, yeah, 
So just excited to talk about it, to geek out with you guys and answer questions. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well, welcome everyone. My name is G. I am one of the co-founders here at Ylopo. I've been in this industry for over a decade in on the technology side. Um, my specialty is digital marketing, and we have built a top-notch digital marketing platform. Um, I, you know, to date we have, you know, just so numbers, we have uh, close to 3,000 clients on our platform, rep represents about 30,000 agents. Um, we have a lot of the top teams in the country. We are a, a team and agent focused platform. Uh, and, you know, we, uh, you know, do a lot of things, but we are, as Jeff said, not a CRM. Uh, and we integrate with the top CRMs in the industry, right? Uh, CRMs like Follow Boss, Chime, Sierra, you name it, we integrate with it. So um, let me, I'm going to be the one giving the bulk of the presentation um, just because it relates to my marketing team. Uh, but, uh, you know, Gabe and Barry are going to give a lot of color. Jeff, feel free to jump in anytime with questions. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, we got a lot to go through, so I'll kind of get started. Um, and uh, what I'll say to the audience here today is our biggest release I'm going to talk about at the end, right? So if you have the time, please stay. Um, <clears throat> you know, the important stuff is going to come later, right? It's not that everything isn't important, but our, our thing that we're most excited about we're going to talk about a little later. So before I get started, let me very quickly just explain what Ylopo does, and I will get into all of our new lead generation tools. So um, Ylopo does at a high level four things. The first is we do lead generation. We generate um, around 3 million leads a year right now, which is a really big number. Uh, we do it only for our clients. So it's never Ylopo branding. It's always, always your branding. And we believe we generate both the, had the capacity to generate the highest quality leads in the industry from PPC and Facebook, but also uh, ha do it in a scalable and automated way. So if you want 30 leads a month, you want 5,000 leads a month, we've got the system for you without, you know, getting you the best cost, best quality. That's our objective. The second is lead nurture. <clears throat> we know in the industry, there's a lot of leads being generated, both old and new. And if you don't have those leads properly nurtured on your platform, meaning um, <clears throat> you're getting them to come back all of the time and you know when they come back, those leads are useless to you, right? And so we have a platform that if you think about it this way, if you give me a thousand old leads, I can get 200 of those people every month coming back looking for properties again, right? So you went from probably 5% if you're on another platform, I won't name names, to about 20%. <clears throat> The second, the third component is I can generate a lot of new leads. I can generate a lot of activity. We all know agents are very busy and lead follow-up is not exactly the thing that agents love to do the most. And so what we found is we can generate a ton of activity for you, but 80% of the time, none of the activity was being actioned on. And so we actually wanted to go one step deeper and we're even going one step deeper than that. But the first step we did is built out a sophisticated call or sorry, uh, a chatbot. And this sophisticated chatbot is going to text with your lead back, back and forth with the goal of setting an appointment for you. Um, you would have to see to believe how good it is. But bottom line is we qualify 11% of the leads we generate into appointments for you, right? That's pretty darn good. You just That's huge. Well, it's, hold on a second, G. It's, all right. For if you're a realtor and you're watching this right now, average conversion, G, is what? <laughs> Probably 2%, let's call it. 1.5 to 2%. About 1% average for online leads. So everything else shown in, if you have a hybrid, 1.5%. So 1.5% is industry standard for years. What's yours again? Uh, it's hard to say, but I would guess our average clients like, a little over 2%, two and a half. So you're double. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, just going to drop the mic for you there. Just, you just double. Just double. Yeah. Just double. Just double. Look, just you double. know, just hundred percent increase than the, uh, than the market, but go drop, yeah. slowly drop the mic. Continue. Think of it this way. If you're an agent that is really, really busy, you get on our platform, you get generate a hundred leads a month. 
we're not even asking you to call all 100 leads. If you did, you will have a monster ROI, right? But if you just call the 11 that AI set appointments for you, you're going to close one or two of those guys, right? And then you break even or you start making money on the platform. So it's, uh, it, it, it's as close as we can get it to fully automated as we can. Right. And the third component is branding. Um, we build out a beautiful website for you um, at a very low cost. You're going to find that we're probably a third to a fifth of the market for beautiful custom websites. And the second is we do a lot of video advertising for you. Everyone says they do video. Really, 95 percent people don't. And we automate that process for you. I'm not going to talk that about that today, but uh, that's the idea. Um, so, hey, uh, so, G, go ahead. I convert from lead to close this year, 0.9%. So just under one. And uh, we're, we're gonna close 139 Wailopo leads this year. My ROI uh, varies between 300 and 400%. This is a very different business model, but it's made me and my business the head instead of Zillow and realtor.com. Yes, shots fired, the head and me the tail. So instead of them getting all of the money and growing their business and me serving that business model, I'm now building my own business and I'm making actually better business decisions because now I own the marketing. I can actually chart my own course. This has changed the complete trajectory of my business. Um, I was forced to find something else back in 2016 because the cost per lead for the portal leads had gone up to three, $400 in some cases. And I just, everybody was making money except for me. So this is a very different style of business, but it's one that actually uh, is worthwhile. So I just want to interrupt. And and I want to add some color to what you just said there though, too. Just tracking this for years. Pink, pink, pink. add pink. Pink, pink, yes. Uh, tracking this for years. So he said 0.9%, I think he said, right? But if you were to ask Barry that same question in another six months or another 12 months, that number is only going to go one direction because of what G was just saying, right? Because of the remarketing, the retargeting, the fact that they're still bringing them back days, weeks, months, even years later. When we went all in with Wailopo this year, we actually had to turn off new lead gen because of the remarketing, retargeting, bringing them back, which was changing our conversion from leads that we bought years ago, months ago. So what's really cool about what Barry's saying is of the leads they generated this year and that 0.9% conversion, uh, what why Lopo's doing with remarketing, retargeting, so this is just one section of that brand, is they keep bringing them back, engaging them, and then alerting and sending this information back into the CRM. So that number continues to go up versus just having to keep increasing your budget to buy more fresh. Sorry. So let's, guys, let's let, let's jump back into it because if not, I'm telling you, I'll, I'll end up regrowing hair. That we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, <laughs> because we can, we can pimp out this thing all day long. Gee, yeah. why don't you jump back into the meat and potatoes of the, of the platform and, yeah. uh, and, and share with share like what your, you know, your, your overview on it. Yeah. Sounds good. So um, I'm actually going to, you know, if you want a demo of Ylopo, just go to ylopo.com, click on request the demo. We'll, we'll give you a 25 minute video, or if you want an hour long explanation, we'll do all of that. Right. Uh, what I want to spend time on today are what are the things that have happened the last year that you better know about and what are the things that we are releasing in 2022 that we believe are game changers for the industry, right? <clears throat> so the first thing I want to talk about is Google local services ads. So I've done webinars on this before. So hopefully most of you on this call are already doing Google local services ads. If you are not, you have to. Like, it's not an option. You have to do it. And the reason is because you become a certified Google a uh, realtor. And when a realtor looks up, you know, or what consumer looks up top realtor in Santa Monica, you have an opportunity to show up in the top three slots as a Google backed and certified agent that a consumer is going to place an inbound phone call into to buy or sell their home. Like I'm hearing conversion rates of like 20%, 30%. Like monster numbers, right? Because think about it. Who's going to first type in realtor in Santa Monica without actually being interested in really talking to a realtor? And then they call you. You're not chasing them, right? They actually call you. Now, the problem of Google local services ads, everyone loves it, is first off, let me talk about the pros, right? Inbound phone calls, high intent prospects, mostly sellers. Enough said, right? 
It is low cost. These leads are, call it 50 bucks. But the best part is if you don't pick up or it's someone who's looking for a rental or something like that, Google doesn't charge you. They refund you that money. So you're only paying good for good leads. Imagine if PPC, Facebook, Zillow, Realtor, someone called and was like, I'm looking for a rental. And you say, click, no problem. And you don't get charged for that. No other platform does that. That's why the ROI is so big, right? Here's the problem though. One, if you want to get credits, you need to manually review every single lead, right? It is a whole, it's huge pain. You got to go into the app, got to download this thing, write a complaint, all that kind of stuff. And if you imagine you're a team and you're getting leads out to five agents, your ISAs, you have to add every one of them to your personal Google account on their phone so they can go in and write all of these reviews of why these leads are bad. So we solved that problem. Over 50% of leads are actually creditable leads. We listen because we're an admin. We listen to every single call. We refund those for you, right? The second Phone calls come in at a very random time and they need a high pickup rate. Google's looking for 85% plus pickup rate or they're going to penalize you. Our average client, 52%, right? So you can imagine the average client across the entire network and we have great agents on our platform. Their pickup rate is probably like 30, 40%. That's not going to cut it and you're going to lower yourself in the rankings. We built out a specific inbound call center that is just going to take all of your phone calls and respond to them right away. And if they're about a you know real estate conversation, hot transfer to you right away. And if they're not, we get those credit to you so you don't pay for it right away, right? So it's a very powerful call center concept, um, but it is only inbound. So we are not doing calling all of your leads in your database. That's a difference, right? It's only leads coming in. And we'll talk more about that in a second. Third thing is, you get a lead, it's a phone call to your phone, it's not in your CRM. So you can't manage that lead, right? So if a call comes in and it goes to one of five agents, you have no idea who it went to unless they type into their CRM, I got a call from XYZ. And by the way, it's a perfect opportunity for a bad actor to say, oh, that wasn't a lead from LSA, that was a personal lead and I want a better commission split on, right? So we send every single lead directly into the CRM, right? And GMB, Google My Business, is a big part of branding for your LSA. That's why people are going to call you because you have a good GMB and you have good reviews. Most people don't optimize that. Search your own name on Google. If you don't show up on the right-hand side in a really, really cool way, you're in trouble. You got to improve that, right? So if you search Barry Jenkins Realtor, you're going to see what a really good optimized GMB is going to look like. We do that all for you. And by the way, we do all of this stuff for $99 a month, including the call center, right? Gee, so gee, let me, I, I just want to jump in really quick. Um, I'm, and for those who just jumped on, I'm a, I'm a title rep in Vegas. I've been doing this for a little while. And I've had a Google business page for about six years. And if you Google Jeff Fargo or Jeff Fargo Las Vegas, uh, I, I'm getting 15 to 16 organic inbound leads a month. When people are Googling title insurance near me, I'm showing up with the large companies that are here because they think I'm Stuart Title. And I have over 120 reviews. And because of Amazon, everyone is geared to go to the company that has a bunch of reviews. So the power of a Google My Business page is massive, 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 massive. Just wanted to add credibility to what you're saying. Hey, G, what, why I pause you there? I want to, uh, Willie had typed in, I'd love for you to, because you glossed over it, but I think this is a really important part right at the top. It, it really mentions, hey, it's tough to get those credits. This is what I personally love. And I know a lot of our clients, why well, Lobo's taking care of this for us. I, I think if you can go a little deeper on that, uh, so, so people aren't thinking they have to go after these credits, You, your team is doing this for them. Yeah, 100%. We are doing all of the credits. We actually have a whole team that knows how to get you credits. We credit thousands of leads a month. And so they know what to write on the reviews and they listen to all the calls to get you reviews. Um, we haven't actually found it to that hard, be hard to get credits, probably get credited 80% of leads, right? So it's not a big deal for us. Um, and we think at $99, kind of a no brainer. And we, we made it so low because we want all of our clients on there. Like it's such a no brainer. Um, so just check it out, get a demo Y Lopo and we can talk to you all about it. Um, and, uh, LSA is not available in Canada. 
Uh, it is one of the reasons we have our next feature that we're releasing in 2022, but you can get on the beta list for now. The problem with Google LSA has, I've never heard a single client say, I want less leads on LSA. I want to spend $100. They go to me and they say, how do I spend $50,000 on LSA? How do I have an instant pocket, like instant flow of hundreds, if not thousands of phone calls, right? Because the close rate is so high and they make money right away. It's not like you make money in six months or nine months, right? The problem with Google LSA is it only shows up when someone types in something related to a realtor or real estate agent. There's not that many people looking just for a realtor or real estate agent, right? And so our average client gets six phone calls a month, right? If you close I don't know, 10%, which is pretty damn good, you get every two months, one deal. That is not going to feed an agent and it's not going to feed a team, right? And so we basically said to ourselves, how can we generate actual inbound phone calls to the client, but do it in a way that you can actually get hundreds of phone calls on a monthly basis, right? Mm -hmm. And this is why we are expanding to what we call inbound click-to-call leads, the idea is very simple, more complicated. The, the technology is complicated, but the idea is very simple. On Google and Facebook, when we are advertising, we are going to make the call to action on our advertisements to actually call you, right? So imagine when someone is, you're posting one of your listings on Facebook. We are, we're posting one of your listings on Facebook. Instead of saying, click on this, learn more form and fill out this form, we are saying, this home is gonna sell in six days. Click on this home and set up a showing right away, right? Believe it or not, we are getting these leads as phone calls coming into us at $16 per lead, right? So a, 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 a normal lead, let's call it between 5 to $8, a click-to-call lead right now, double that, not bad, right? So um, what's better is the problem with LSA calls, the problem with click-to-call all calls is there's a lot of junk in there right? A lot of junk. And so we are taking all of those inbound phone calls. We are going to scrub all of those calls for you and only hot transfer or set appointments for the people that legitimately want to talk to you right now, right? We're getting between a 13 to 15% qualified lead transfer rate, right? Hey, and so go ahead. Sorry, sorry to stop. Daniel's got a question. Uh, uh, and this is, it's a, it was the Barry actually. Hey, Barry, do you post uh, property photos with your name and company? My MLS doesn't allow it here in New York. Uh, or is that a feature within the Ylopo ads? And that's for anyone to answer, but directly. To Barry. There's MLS compliance, like that, are, that vary across the country. And Ylopo is going to uh, stay subject to those. And uh, so whatever the rules are in your locale, that's what we're going to do. I'll say this, that generally, uh, they just want to make it clear whose listing it is. Uh, they don't mind you having branding around someone else's listing as long as it's clear that it's not your listing. Yeah. Um, and so that's that's just kind of a universal principle. Yeah. And since I've unmuted myself, I just want to say that last month we converted 10% of the inbound click to call. And I told mm. G that mm. this is my most exciting and uh the inbound phone call has become money because in our culture, if you pick up the phone to call a business owner to talk about the product, you are ready to transact. I can tell you that we have had more inbound call two weeks later, three weeks later, 30 days later, under contract or listed uh, for sale uh, by this specific product than anything else. It's not as good as Google LSA but I actually like it better than Google LSA because I know if I spend X on marketing, I'm going to get Y and then the ROI is going to be Z. This is a really big deal uh, and nobody else is talking about this. And this isn't even what I was excited about uh, when I, we started the webinar. There's something else that I'm excited about, but this is a really, really, really important piece of your business over the next 24 months. It's much yeah. more scalable for everybody. Yeah. 
Uh, and, and I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, I, I'm a marketing geek, right? So what, what we're going to show you later is what marketing geeks care about the most. So, but look, guys, this is going to be a monster product for us because it's all inbound phone calls and you don't have to deal with it because it's all coming to our call center, right? So, um, you know, again, it is in uh, kind of alpha beta right now. We're getting our first 50 clients on this platform today. Uh, we're going to progressively expand it throughout the next six months and release it far and wide in that June timeframe. But if you want on this, join YLOPO, tell your salesperson, hey, I want to be on the click to call beta. They will contact our product team. We'll get you enrolled. Um, so, you know, next, I'm going to blow through a couple of these next slide, but because, you know, only because I want to get to what's exciting. Um, but, you know, there's just a lot of stuff happening in YLOPO world, but also in general that you should know about. The first is we are finding that promoting listings on the Google Display Network is very cheap and cost effective. It costs $20 for a thousand impressions of your advertisement on Facebook, right? That's because Facebook's data is so tight, so narrow, they know how to get in front of people who are going to click on your ad. On Google, it costs you 73 cents per thousand. That is 30X basically the cost difference between Google and Facebook, right? So if you wanna to say to your agent, or sorry, to your consumer, I got your image in front of 100,000 local buyers in the community, it is significantly cheaper to do that on Google than Facebook, right? So is it as good for lead generation? Definitely not. That's why we generate leads off Facebook. But is it great for branding and exposure? Absolutely. Um, we are working on this feature. I'll, I'll, I'll promote a you know competitor right now just because uh, you know if you want to do it today, ad, this is AdWorks business. So you can tap into this today, but you're going to get it as part of the wide local platform in the future. Um, the second is Canadian data, right? So this is very important to all of our Canadian clients. We have 8% of our clients in Canada today. We have searched far and wide and Canadian demographic data, meaning targeting demographics in Canada is really difficult because they have crazy privacy laws. Maybe, maybe that's a good thing. And we finally have access to be able to target homeowners, renters, people based on family size, if they're likely to move, employment status, luxury buyers, we can do it all, right? So our marketing in Canada has really leveled up uh, because we can do all of this targeting, which no one else, as far as I know, in the industry are doing. We have done a significant amount of ad copy testing. This is, I, I want to point this out to say that um, for people who are doing Facebook, you've got to test your copy. It's not just about running one ad. It's about running a ton of different ads. On the left-hand side here, you see an advertisement where we say, hey, instead of just targeting consumers with normal ads, let's show them homes that have pools. 37% reduction in cost per view. On the right-hand side, we said, hey, let's only show consumers that have single story homes, 33% cost per reduction, percent reduction right? So ad copy, being creative about what type of listings to show and when, major impact on your digital marketing. So, you know, next I'm going to talk about creative, right? And these are some new tools. And by the way, this is what we're doing here at YLOPO, but things that you can do on your own if you're running your own Google advertisement. Google is constantly innovating. And one of the areas they realize that it needs to be innovate is at the top of Google right now, every single ad is static words, right? Who wants to see words? Like people want to see pictures. So now they have enabled the ability for you to put a picture with your advertisement at the top of Google. Well, guess what? We've tested this seven ways to Sunday. The, the best photo that you can use is your face, right? Because people trust faces. And so now you can run an advertisement. Every Wilopo ad is like this, where it's on the left-hand side, you can see the consumer right in, in the profile. And it has actually doubled our click-through rate and dramatically decreased our cost per lead. So it is something that if you're running your own Google ads, you should definitely be doing. The second is Google is now allowing you to put sub-locations directly into the app. So if I'm marketing to homes for sale in Boise homes, on the bottom there, you can see we can put Boise, Meridian, Caldwell. What is the average price? What is the type of homes we're marketing? Consumers will click on that bottom part more frequently than the top link 
because they're like, oh, whoa, I have even more detailed information. I was thinking Boise, but I'm actually thinking this location, right? So, you know, this again is a Google feature we have rolled out, but if you are doing your own Google, you know, uh, ads, you should be rolling out something similar for yourself too. The third thing on the Google side is Facebook has a really powerful feature. It's called Facebook lead ads. The concept behind lead ads is that you are have an instant form that loads inside Facebook that consumers can fill out rather than going to your slow website, waiting for it to load, and your information isn't pre-populated um, you know, on, on that form, right? Whereas it is on the Facebook ad form. Google is like, wait a minute, lead forms is a huge product on Facebook. Why don't we replicate it? So Google now has also the idea of lead forms, right? You click on an ad, it opens up into a form. You fill out that form right inside the Facebook or Google environment, and it happens primarily on mobile. Now, we run our ads differently um, for, for reasons that you will see, but uh, if you are running an ad independently as an agent and you don't have a great website, which is a lot of agents that, that I know, this is a great feature because now you don't have to rely on your website in order to generate leads on Google. Um, and as I mentioned, we're doing a ton of different ad testing. It's, uh, you know, it's it, graphics, you know, are really important. And it's not just about listing promotion, guys. Like we're seeing that brand awareness ads done correctly can do really, really well on, Google, on Facebook, especially on a remarketing basis. So, um, you know, user experience and conversion funnel. Now I'm getting into the meat of what I think is, the real innovation and guys, please uh, kind of give me color as I go here. So uh, we're really proud here at Ylopo. We have launched a version two of our home search platform. We've spent a couple million dollars on this, just a couple million. And we have 10 dedicated engineers working on this at all times. Um, it's a huge facelift, but it is also um, a increased performance website. Conversion rate increased by 10%, pretty big deal. It, you know, site load time is much uh, faster. We did a ton of user design on the look and feel and uh, you know, mobile experience, especially all that kind of stuff. And we're working on a ton of other wish list items as well, which I won't go through today. Um, hey, G. Yeah. On that search site, I think you'll recall we had a conversation I was obsessed when we were designing this with the fact that if I wanted to look for a home, I would rather use Zillow, Redfin, or Realtor.com to browse than my own search site. And we approached our redesign with that in mind. And when you go to a Ylopo user's search site, what you're going to find is this website, it, we're no longer competing with other real estate companies. We are now on par and in some ways actually better than all of the popular search engines. Now, what that means uh, on a hyper local level, on any given time, I have between nine and 10,000 local homeowners and home, buy, home buying shoppers shopping for a home on my website, not just because I'm front and center from a marketing perspective but because they actually are enjoying the website. This doesn't sound like a big deal on its face, but these big companies like Zillow and Realtor.com, they know that if they can keep their brand in front of the consumer and the consumer continues to window shop on their site, they're going to keep those opportunities. But why, what Ylopo has enabled me to do is to compete with these monster gargantuan companies at a hyper-local level. This is revolutionary at the agent level. Because now as a small business owner, it's like a David and Goliath scenario. I can actually stand up and say, hey, you know, this is my business, my website, and I no longer have to kind of bow a knee to these other large companies. This is super important. And so don't underestimate the value of a really good search experience. 100%. Um, thanks, Barry. Um, <clears throat> okay. All right. Now to what I just want to make sure we oh, got, go I just want to make sure we got a question answered about uh, map searching. So yeah, the, <clears throat> that was the other great thing about the redesign. Man, the, the map searching is not just, I mean, it is, it is top notch. We actually had, well, if I actually had this really cool contest where people were drawing on the maps, these, these images, but yeah, full map searching everything. And then the great part about it is when it feels as good, if not better than, than Zillow or Realtor works as good, if not better, it's also local. 
it's you. It's about yours, right? People are using Zillow Realtor and all these others because they think it's there. But when you give them a better option that's local to where they live or want to live, they're going to stick around. And and Barry touched on this as well. You want people window shopping. It's okay. Have a site, have a platform, have a marketing team that's driving remarketing people to your site to where they have a safe place to look at homes, even if it's window shopping, until they are ready. And then your tech lets you know once they start having behaviors that are more uh, indicative of somebody who's wanting to buy or sell, and then it sends that into that CRM al alerting you. So that's all tied with the revamp of this search site. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, on the map search question, if you're on a white Lobo site on the right hand corner, you will see map view. You click on that. You're in map view. What we've actually found is that map view is a good way for consumers to narrow down where they want to search. But once they know where they want to search news feed or list view is actually what they want. You know, um, that's why Redfin, if you go on Redfin as a user, they have a big news feed option. They found most people use that in order to browse listings because you already know where you wanna buy. And now once you know, once that's saved, you wanna see what new listings come on the market. That's actually not what MapView is designed for, right? So um, just check that out. You'll kind of understand our logic once you see it. So- well. <laughs> I know I keep interrupting. I'm sorry. You can yell at me later. Dude. No, no, no. Go ahead. Well, the, the map view, I actually prefer um, as a consumer just because it, it makes it easier to orient myself. But uh, I think, you know, just to kind of rephrase what's being shared, all this stuff is primarily geared towards lead conversion. Um, and, uh, you know, I know that we're working on the way, a way to default to the map view. Um, but I don't, I don't know, like if I want to default, I don't know if there's like a, um, a, like could, well, I can ask you this later, but basically like, can we keep it, uh, uh, non map view for the new leads, but if it's a return visit from a lead, that's like a, you know, already in my database, it's a map view like to have the best of both worlds? Do you know if that's possible? Uh, <laughs> ask me that later, uh, Barry. Now you're getting into our product fun, fun discussion. Uh, <laughs> we, not, we, not, we need to keep rolling, guys. Just yeah, stay on not, time. not today. We got, we got not today. 20, 21 more minutes left. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're stuff to get through. <laughs> okay. So um, let me start talking about the conversion funnel, right? So, you know, I just showed you guys what type of ads we are going to generate, click to call, LSA, I'm showing you how we generate those leads from a creative perspective, targeting perspective. I'm showing you what experience the consumer searches on once they come to our website. Those are areas of innovation that other companies have worked on alongside of us. I think we do it better, but you, you're you're the judge. But um, those are areas that that have been enhanced, right? The part that no one has paid any attention to is the conversion funnel, which is how consumers actually become leads on your website, right? Let me explain. So the average experience for how we generate leads is consumer, and this is what Wailopo used to do, right? And we did this a decade ago at Tiger Lead as well. Consumers see a Google ad, they click on the Google ad, they go into your home search experience, and they cl click on a listing. As soon as they click on the listing, registration pop-up occurs. We ask for your, your phone number, your name, and your email address, and boom, you are a lead, right? Now, what are you telling the consumer at that stage when you get their contact information, right? You are telling them, this is a gate. In order to see this content, we require you to give us your contact information. Right. And this methodology of lead conversion is what everyone does. Here's three different websites, IDX websites from all the big names you would know. They ask all the same exact conversation. Right. What we said is wait a minute, there has to be a better way to ask the consumer for their contact information. Instead of saying, who give us your information and we're going to hold you, quote unquote, hostage about content until you give that to us we created what we call dynamic registration. With dynamic registration, the goal is that for every type of consumer, for every lead source of consumer, in terms of how they come to our website, we are going to ask them different questions that gets them deeper into the home search experience 
in order to give them a customized experience that ultimately makes them want to give us their contact information, right? So that it's not a need, we, we are holding you hostage, it is a want, right? So let me show you how this works live so you get an idea. So consumer comes on the site, they're looking through some listings, at some point, boom, registration pops up, comes up, right? You'll notice no contact information. We say, hey, this is a free home search engine. Start answering questions. Show me homes that are priced at 300, 600,000. How many bedrooms are you looking for? How many bathrooms are you looking for? What is the size of home you prefer? Do you have a loan? When do you plan on buying, right? So you can see here, already we have asked the consumer many different questions. We ask the consumer, depending on what questions you answer, up to 15 questions before we ask for your contact information, right? And these questions aren't just static, they're branching. So if I say, do you need to sell before I buy? And I say, yes, we're going to ask you a different set of questions. And we're going to ask for your most important home address. Believe it or not, 23%, I actually think it's 22% of all what we think of as buyer traffic, people typing in homes for sale in Santa Monica, end up saying they need to sell before they buy and provide you a home address. That's crazy, right? A seller lead, let's say a buyer lead is $8 conservatively. That's already pretty high. If you get one out of four of those, or let's call it one out of five of those as a seller lead, that's a $50 seller lead that you also get four buyers on top of, right? Whereas if I were to target a keyword like sell my home for top dollar or how, you know, what's my home worth? That's a $60 plus lead, right? So would you rather have one $40 lead with four extra buyer leads or one seller lead that's more expensive, right? So th this is why we did this, right? So we can tease out even more nuggets of information from the consumer. Now, if they say no, we keep asking them questions. Now, what's nice about our dynamic registration is we're able to tease out information and to set expectations with the consumer, right? Because ultimately, what are you going to do? You're going to call and text this person, right? It doesn't matter if they provide email address and phone number and they say, don't call my phone number. Your objective is to call them. So with our dynamic registration, we are setting those conversations up. If you see a home like you like, would you like to have a home search consultant call you? Yes, I like a call about if I want a tour, I'd, I'm still feeling out the market, right? 15% of consumers say, yes, I like a call if I want a tour, right? So these are people asking you to call them. Think about that. 15%, $8 lead, you're looking at roughly a $65 lead, right? A Zillow lead, which is a come call me lead, probably minimum 150 bucks, more probably average 250 to $300. Same type of lead. Someone looking for a home for sale who says, I want a phone call. Would you rather have $65 or would you rather have 200? And on top of that, you're going to get six other, other, seven other buyer leads that you can call as well, right? So we set up the phone call and then we ask them for their contact information only at the very end. We get all of their contact information. And oh, by the way, we set it up one more time. Thank you. One of our real estate consultants will be touched with you right away. At that point, you register and complete the experience, right? So what's nice about this lead registration experience is we can customize it based on the consumer, right? If I, you are working with a lender or you are one of our mortgage clients, instead of asking you real estate questions, Based on the traffic coming in, we can ask you mortgage questions, right? Confirm your price range. How much we, month, monthly payment would you com be comfortable with? What's the down payment would you prefer? What type of property are you looking for? What is your estimated credit score? On and on and on and on. So imagine you partnering with a lender. And as soon as they say, no, I am not pre-approved, your lender can tell you, hey, I want to ask these five questions of the consumer to make this a qualified lead for me as a lender, right? You can do that on the White Label platform. And guess what? Now I'm going to go back to the deck here. You would think, okay, great. You're generating a higher quality lead for me. No duh, because they're answering so many different questions. That's assumed, right? But wow, these leads must be so expensive. 
right? What's crazy is that's not the case. We have done this now for about 300 clients and we are migrating all of our clients over, all 3,000 of our clients over to this by the end of February. Across all of those clients, we have seen a handful, maybe five that have had a worse performance with dynamic registration than without dynamic registration. That is crazy, right? The majority of clients we have seen have gotten a zero to 10% improvement. So remember, this is higher quality leads. So zero to 10 is already pretty good. The, 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 the majority of our clients are at 11 to 20% improvement on cost per lead. And we have a cohort of clients here, about a quarter that has 20% plus improvement on conversion rate. This is bonkers to me, honestly, as a marketer, because you're like, I'm asking you way more questions, but you're going to convert at a higher rate. Our only hypothesis is because we are customizing your lead journey, these consumers, by the end, we kind of worn them down, right? They're like, ah, oh, I've already answered 10 questions, might as well just give them my contact information, right? And so, you know, we're seeing both a lower cost lead, a higher quality lead, you know, at the same time. Uh, and these people are giving you information that they're sellers, <laughs> right? About, about a fifth to a quarter of them, right? So that's the, the, the triple crown, so to speak, of lead generation in our industry. Um, that's why we're so excited about it. And this is something that no one else has even touched, to be honest. Um, so we're really proud that I'm really proud of my team. I did not think of this idea. My team thought of this idea. I'm really proud of them for coming up with this because I, I think next year it's going to be a game changer. Um, uh, Mr. G, sir. Yes. So what I love about this is uh, after COVID, the consumer values a concierge experience which is high touch, it's uh, highly customizable. Um, it, it's not about just filling out a form and getting registration. When they feel like they're connected to the business, um, that's the business they're going to eventually transact with. What's very nuanced here, listeners, is that we have now developed a way to convert a lead that is adaptable to the lead. The result of this is a higher quality and cheaper lead than anything I've ever seen. You can't, normally you can't ask 13 questions and expect it. So basically this is not just some long form lead. This is a lead that has had a concierge like experience and is now just kind of sitting there waiting for you. This is revolutionary. And so don't overlook this. This is this is the future, but there's no doubt about it. Yeah, I think you Barry hit on something really interesting there, right? Is that that trust is a feeling, uh, and and value is what they're looking for. When you're making these questions and statements, and they're dynamic, and it's all about them, they're feeling like they're getting value. They're willing to go. When they first were showing this to me, I'll be honest, I'm like, man, that's a lot of questions. This is a lot of process. We're gonna probably get a higher quality lead for sure, but the cost is gonna go sky high. We've been blown away blown away what's happened in both my markets as far as our cost per lead going down and then the quality, right? So, so now not only everything they just said, um, who was it? Peter was asking, does, do the answers, all these questions go into the, into, uh, are they provided the agent? hundred percent. They're all put into a note sent into the CRM and it goes right above the lead registration. So then what also is happening, the age, our agents are loving these freaking leads now because not only is it just a lead coming in that looked at the home over on Fillmore Street, but it's coming in and they answered all these questions. And now they are feeling more confident reaching out to these, answering questions because they provided so much more information. Now the agent's confidence level is going up, which is making a higher quality call. And because there's more confidence going into it, they're actually making more calls. Yeah, G, or, uh, Gabe, I completely agree. And I would say that this is why people buy Wailopo. The consumer has changed. People have changed. The way they buy things has changed. And we, once again, have innovated a new process that is in touch with the consumer. Generalist can't be this specific. So if I'm like an all-in-one, one-size-fits-all marketing industry business, I can't focus on these changes as quickly as needed, which means my marketing dollars are being paid towards a business, Wailopo, 
that is super unique. And so in a land of Google ads where there's 20 different people spending money on Google, mine are different. Mine have an experience that is different. And marketing is all about standing out. It's being unique. And because we're so unique, we get more and for cheaper. And so this in principle is why people buy Wilopo because it's going to take a lot of the other big marketing companies two to three years to figure this out. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. I watch every time we launch a new feature, it takes all the other businesses in this space about two years to create it. And so we've done it again. Um, yes, I'm biased, but the numbers are the numbers. Nobody else can compete with this anymore. It's revolutionary. Um, it really is. Yeah, I was just pulling some quick ones because, again, we're, we're testing it out. We just ramped it up in, in our new market. Okay, I wanted to see what's going on. And I've taught this for years, uh, running PPC ads and converting them and then, and then building PowerPoint and working on that marketing team is that, you know, don't have high expectations with PPC right off the bat. It's a long-term game. We need to wait on average 12, 18 months. It's been crazy how much more responsive uh, these particular people, leads, are. And I was just looking at the last 14 days of ramping it up uh, out of 72 leads. And we just started it up there and it's holiday season. But out of 72 in Boise, we have uh, our agents only work A's, B's, C's, meaning they're willing to take them. They've had a conversation and they're less than a year out. Uh, and we're at 12 of the 70 uh, 72 or 73 are in an ABC status. I know several more will be coming in. In two weeks, that is bonkers. That is crazy. So, and then on top of it, the lenders coming in, seeing the quality, like we just had one talking to Raya saying, I'm currently wanting to apply for a VA loan. Like they're just coming in already with more intent because there was just more due diligence done. It's, it's been incredible. Seven minutes, gentlemen. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Awesome. Well, that was it, guys. So we sped through that. Uh, so I, 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 this is surprising because there's never been a webinar I've done here where we've been under time. Uh, general announcements. Um, one, uh, we do. We are huge LCA fans. We're huge Tristan and Nick fans and friends. So you do get an LCA discount on Ylopo. Don't forget to mention if you get a demo that you're you heard about this on LCA. Uh, we're going to give you $500 off the setup fee for the platform. <clears throat> so, you know, there you go. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I'll end with this. Um, Before you end and wrap up, G, yeah. can, I, can I get a couple of things just because I got a direct go message? Yeah. Current clients, I'm already using YLOPO. How do I get set up? I mean, not everybody's been moved over yet. Obviously, current clients, are they're asking about click to call and dynamic uh, lead registration already with Ylopo, Re reach out to your account manager to get, I mean, I know we're doing some beta. We have some wait lists for this. Just reach out to your account manager, right? Yeah. Reach out to your account manager. Um, you know, uh, actually reach out to marketing at ylopo.com. You'll get set up with one of my marketing team members. Um, you know, we are, if you ask for it, we will give it to you. <laughs> it's kind of a proactive uh, benefit, quote unquote. So if you reach out to marketing at ylopo.com, Talk to someone, excuse me, and they can get you set up. Perfect. Thanks. Awesome. Now, on, on this, new accounts, uh, are we still giving new users the uh, assigned headshot of Gabe? <laughs> Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Uh, <laughs> only if he wears his Ylopo green glasses. You should, hey. see, my new, you should see my new jacket. Ooh. Saving it. Saving it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know, last thing I'll say is like, look, you know, I, I'm the product guy here. I'm not the sales guy, you know, so um, I don't I, 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 I wanted you guys to see this, all the things we're doing, because these are things that your vendor, whoever you work with, needs to be working on. If they're not working on this type of stuff, they're going to you're going to fall behind just straight up. You know, um, if you do this yourself, these are the type of things that you should be working on and realizing the value from. Obviously, if you want us to do it, we can do it for you. You know, I, I just find that most platforms in the industry have a real estate DNA. They really understand real estate. But when you're doing digital marketing, you need to have a marketing DNA, right? That is a huge kind of philosophical shift in your mind that you have to have read articles, you know, follow the right blogs, right? Um, you know, 
it, do all of the things to educate yourself on the marketing side. Iman has some great articles on this. And, and so I, I really hope my wish for everyone in 2022, obviously I'm biased, check out YLOPO, but really look at your systems and see if you have applied a marketing DNA to what you do today. Any last yeah, that's a great. Well, yeah, that's a great point. Um, and, you know, when you think about a, your general uh, real estate lead provider, you know, they, they're all about efficiency to reduce cost. And every time something new comes out and they have to create new systems and uh, implementation, there's costs involved for them. And so, um, you know, and then there's like, they got to see, is it worth our investment of time and money to try this new thing? Well, because while Opo decided they weren't going to be a CRM, they were going to invest all their time and money, like 80% devoted to engineers and 20% devoted to integrating with other people's CRMs. We're able to, we're, we're built to adapt and create whatever else, whatever is the newest. And so if you're, you know, you got to understand if like for an all in one, you got to understand there are sacrifices that uh, for making things easy. Who are you tell? You know, yeah, no, I mean, there, you, you know, if you want to make things easy, that's fine, right? Oh, well, you know, it's easier to have an all-in-one, for example. And I don't hate all-in-ones. You just have to understand that their resources are divided, part to the CRM and part to the marketing. And so you really have to recognize what you're paying for and how much you're sacrificing in your business by focusing on convenience instead of uh, innovation. Nope. Stop. Gentlemen, final thoughts? Well, I'll bring you back to this real quick on what Barry just said. You know what? Do what you're good at. Do what you are meant to do, what your highest and best use is, and then put those that are great at what you need and where the holes are in your business to work for you. I, I think that's the biggest thing. And when awesome. you start seeing that automates a lot of this process as well, then we already wear too many hats and do too many things uh, and put out too many fires. Let your tech, build a tech stack that works for you, automates for you, and let you focus on inbound, hot, active leads only, and they take care of the rest. So for those of you that are, that came in late or you missed part of it, this will be on the YouTube channel. Links will be put up for this. This has been fantastic. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we can go on for another two or three hours with this stuff and just keep geeking out. It's phenomenal. I love it. And so thank you so much for the value and information and knowledge that you are bringing to realtors in, you know, the country, Canada, everywhere now. Thank you. Good stuff. Talk yep. to you later. Thanks, Happy guys. holidays. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.